What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Are you ready to get spooky? Because today we are unveiling the brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Cremated Collection. Yes, I think a lot of you know what this next collection is all about and hello, yes. I know there was a lot of rumors about what was the follow-up to the iconic Bloodlust collection. Now you guys know this collection was actually supposed to come out in April, but the coronavirus has had the whole entire beauty industry, of course, as well as the entire planet shook. And a lot of brands and a lot of us companies have had to move things back. We've had to push launches. There was things that were about to start production overseas and because of the virus, they were completely shut down. So yeah, we were supposed to have a very gothic and dark spring, but uh, of course, <laughs> things did not go according to plan, but that's okay. But here we are, we're in the month of May. It's still kind of springing and I know that summer is approaching, but baby, we're about to get really dark. Now, cremated is like my iconic catchphrase, I'm deceased. It is a double entendre and cremated, as well as being, um, of course, very dark and gothic. It is also a term <laughs> that I like to use. You know when you are really blown away by something, you're mesmerized and it's so sickening? Me and my friends love to say, bitch, I'm cremated. Baby, I'm deceased! <laughs> So, now the packaging is very different for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I know a lot of you were like, Jeffree, is the next collection all nudes? One day, I will make that, I promise. Maybe one day. And a lot of you were like, Jeffree, is it greens? Is it oranges? Is it coppers? Is it, what is it? But, I think it's time for the industry to have a little shake up, and we are bringing you 24 shades of gothic neutrals. And this palette is one of a kind, it has not been done before in the beauty industry yet. And this is maybe one of the best and most fun things I've made thus far. Um, and as a brand owner, I always wanna take things to the next level. This is the antithesis of the Jawbreaker palette, and this is gonna give you your smoky eye palette dream. So, let me shut the hell up and get this palette open. All right, now that we're a little closer, let's get into the details. Now, you guys, I have been wearing gothic makeup. Now, that term, I know it's used very loosely and widely, um, but in high school, I'm gonna throw up some pictures here. I was very gothic. I never called myself that. I was always just Jeffrey, um, but I loved dark makeup. I shaved my eyebrows off for the first time in 10th grade. Um, and I just loved the look. I loved how extravagant everything was, and I was very vampire-esque back then <laughs> in high school. So um, this is very reminiscent to um, a palette that I wish I would have had during those times. I remember using sometimes, you guys, black Sharpie to draw my eyebrows sometimes for a lip liner because it stayed on longer, yes. Black Sharpie is lip liner. Don't try that at home. And besides that, when I was doing my music career for a very long time, I did a lot of photo shoots in cemeteries. Um, I did a crazy grave digging one for AP Magazine, insert here. Um, so it was time to just have a full throwback, full circle moment. And today, we are unveiling the cremated palette. Now this collection, it is a little smaller than normal. I wanted to keep it more contained, so there's four amazing lip glosses, there's a few makeup bags, and there is, of course, the cremated straw set, and besides that, the palette is the all-star. So, here we go, you guys. Let's open her up. You guys, of course, saw the packaging. It is very marble-esque. You have cremated here, of course, spelled out very big with a clear gray window, where, of course, you guys see that eye. So, um, this is the packaging. We have a new JSC logo for this collection with the halo. And, of course, we have the iconic urn, which goes with the entire collection. But, um, all right, here we go, you guys. Here is the cremated palette. Woo! Oh my God, this is the first time that I've ever been on my own packaging. Five and, five years in the game, can you believe that? And I thought it was time, you guys, that I needed my own moment. I wanted to be on the palette, no logos, no words, just me. So you guys see me, of course, with the unreal makeup that Lipstick Nick did on me. She hand drew all those lines, the black Swarovski. And then of course, you guys, we wanted to really showcase what this was about. And you see my face and cheeks and lips deteriorating and ash is, I'm just turning into ash. I'm just evaporating. <laughs> um, but this palette, of course, it has 24 shades. It is exactly in the same format as the Jawbreaker palette. Now, let's open her up. Introducing the cremated eyeshadow palette. Yes, oh my God. 
This is a smoky eye dream. You do not need another palette after this one. You could create endless, dark, insane, smoky, or soft and gentle looks if you want. Now, as you can see, there are a, there's a lot here. So from pure white diamond shades all the way to the darkest black matte eyeshadow, there is a lot of tones here. Every gray tone you can think of is in this palette and they don't read ashy on anyone's skin tone. They look sickening on everyone. Um, and of course, we're about to swatch everything. Now with this one, I wanted to do dark to light. I think a lot of brands always do light to dark or you, can, you know me and my crazy brain, I'll just throw it on the wall and mix them all over the place like Jawbreaker. And I'm like, I wanna see what you guys create instead of just a rainbow gradient. I gave you some a little cuckoo. So with this one, I wanted to really get straight to the point. Now, you will notice a lot of details. There is new JSC pan stamps. We have the urn, the halo, the hearse, the tombstone. Um, everything, I think, just looks so stunning and I'm just so proud of this collection. So. Let's start swatching. And of course, sometimes the beauty lights don't read the shades exactly how they look, so I'm gonna show this palette in the sunlight. There are the same unique, crazy, metallic diamond formula in Bloodlust. There was only a few of those in there, like two or three. Now this one has seven diamond metallic shades, which we will, of course, be swatching in a second, but oh my God, they are so pearlized and beautiful. It's unreal. So as you see in the sun, they're blinding. The, the metallic ones look so wet on the lid. It's like, it's unreal. Okay, let's swatch the first row. All right, let's dive in. So this is the first palette that I've created in a long time that is strictly an eyeshadow palette. There are no pressed pigments in black, gray, or white shades. So let's dive in. Now this is from the very top left shade. We're gonna go swatch from here to here and just continue all the way down. So the first shade in the Miss Cremated palette is Hearse. Now, just like you guys saw in some of the makeup ads, we have a baby pink hearse in the ad, of course. I wanted one little pop of color, but for the palette, it had to be the most pitch black matte eyeshadow. It is stunning, it's beautiful, and of course, I'm wearing it right here in the crease. And you guys know a black eyeshadow, sometimes they're a little, ooh. This one is perfect. Moving on, we have Angel of Death. This shade literally looks like liquid latex. It has a little bit of a silver sparkle in there and it looks so stunning. All right, the third shade is a beautiful matte gray. Now there's a lot of matte grays. There's so many different tones of gray in this palette, but this one is the darkest gray and it's called Grave Digger. Fun fact, when my dad was younger and needed money, he was a grave digger for a year. All right, and the next shade is called Death Certificate. It is a beautiful gold, black, grungy, just stunning, beautiful shade. Um, it is so good to put on the lid, smoke it out under your entire eye. This bitch is bad. All right, now the fifth shade on the top is called R.I.P. It is another beautiful, cool-toned gray matte. And then next to it, we have Paul Bearer. It is one of my favorite shades. It looks like gray diamonds on the lid and it is so pretty. So, here's the top row. All right, now the second row starts with the shade Inheritance. It is a very green-based gray. Now when you think gray, there's so many different shades that I think will come up in different people's heads, especially when you're watching this. So I tried to do every single gray tone on the planet. So this green gray is really unique and one of a kind and I live for it. All right, now the next shade is called Wednesday, inspired of course by Wednesday Adams, my favorite goth gal. Um, I also have Wednesday tattooed on me, I have Morticia tattooed on me and I'm such an Adams family fan. So when Mean Girl said we only wear pink on Wednesdays, the irony, the irony! All right, now the third shade is called Mortuary Beautician. Fun fact, little Jeffrey Lynn was going to go to college to do makeup on dead people when MySpace happened and my entire life changed. So, if I wasn't doing this, what would I be doing? Now you know. The fourth shade is called Last Look. It is a beautiful gray bronze color. I wanted to give some, a little, a little more spice to the palette. Now this shade is so pretty on when it's mixed with the darker, cool-toned grays, and I think you guys are going to be obsessed with it. All right, now the fifth shade is a very cool gray called Solemnly Swear. It is matte, it is gorgeous, and I am obsessed with it, and it is the perfect gray for a smoky eye. 
Now the sixth and last shade in the second row is called the Morgue. Um, it is definitely very dark and is a really cool, it, it kind of looks like this one, but the tone is very different. This is a more nude tan gray, where this one is way more green. Here's the second row. All right, here is the third row. Now let's start with the first shade. It's called Mausoleum. Of course, we shot at a beautiful mausoleum at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery here in stunning Hollywood, California, um, which we, you guys will see in a lot of the beauty images for the campaign. Um, mausoleum is really different. It is almost like a bronze gray, yes, that exists. And it has a really cool, fine, fine silver um, sparkle in there, which you can see, and it is all right, now the second shade is called Embalmed, and it is a very soft, light gray. It is very cool tone, um, and it is just the perfect accent for all the other darker grays in this palette. Now the third shade is called Eulogy, and it is a, it's, mm, it's not a warm tone gray, but it's the warmest tone gray in the palette. It's really, really pretty. All right, now the fourth shade is a really light, kind of almost a green gray, and it's called Life Insurance. The stamp in the palette is a hearse, and it's really, really cute. Now, the fifth shade is called Last Respects, and it is a really pretty gray shade. It's matte, it's gorgeous, and the fifth shade, which is very much a stunning gray metallic, it's called Goodbye, period. And I am obsessed with this one only because none of my palettes really had these tones. So as I was creating them, I was like, whoa, there's way more than just like three shades of gray, okay? Wait, is that a movie pun? So here is the third row in the palette. Before we even go to the fourth row, go in the comments, sound off below, what is your favorite shade so far? All right, let's dive into the fourth and final row. This is one of my favorite rows because it is so versatile and you are going to die and you might use this in every wedding, but bam, here's the fourth row. It is very interesting and I am so in love with how this entire thing turned out. So the first shade is called Obituary. It is a beautiful grayish. Um, it's really unique and what do you guys think it looks like? It is like pulling kind of tan in there, but it's gray and has a, it's just, I don't know, it's really cool. The next shade is called Burial Gown. It is a really interesting, like milky gray with a really weird tone to it. I love it, it's very unique. Now the next shade I'm actually wearing as highlight. It is called Afterlife and it is a stunning metallic. This, I don't know, this is very wedding to me. It has a little bit of a different tone in there, a little more skin-like, and I have been wearing this highlighter secretly for months. The fourth shade is called Casket Ready. It is a very, I'm gonna say a beautiful, ugly, gray tone. I love it, it's really weird, um, and I can't wait to see what everyone does with this. Fifth shade, a pure, cocaine white it is called death blow and it is like the pure white in blood sugar but maybe even a little more white and the sixth and final shade is called diamond ashes a tribute to my beautiful dog who passed away last year um, diamond was pure white and she loved the reflection of diamonds and jewelry so um, you guys see it is so reflective it's amazing it is actually what is on my lids today on my eyes um, well there's a lot going on here in my eyes by the way Wednesday and life insurance on the brows. Life changing, okay. So here is the fourth and final row. That completes all 24 shades of the cremated palette. Um, what do you guys think? This might be one of my favorite things I have ever created. Okay, so real quick tea on the palette. This is the same price as the Jawbreaker palette and retailing at $58. Of course, there is 24 shades. Um, it is vegan, cruelty-free as always, as my entire brand. And of course, this is a full eye shadow palette. It is a gothic neutral dream. Um, and before we even do any more swatches or talk about it, because of the coronavirus and all the delays, we had a lot of production issues and we could not get a full mass production of this palette for all the retailers. So I know a lot of you are gonna be like, <gasps> what? But yes, the cremated collection, this is the first time that we've done this since we launched, will be available exclusively for the first month on jeffreestarcosmetics.com only. It is an online exclusive and it will be in stores later, but baby, a lot of stuff has been shaken around here. So this launch um, only, of course, summer and everything else coming will be available everywhere. Um, but the malls aren't open, you can't go to any stores really, and it's just a very interesting time. So. 
my website only. Um, all right, you guys, so there's the palette. All right, now that we've swatched the cremated palette, it's time to talk about the imagery. Oh my God, you guys, this campaign was so fun to shoot. Actually, the day before, quarantine um, started in March. We were shooting this in a cemetery. And I actually have someone from the campaign with me, so let's talk. Oh, hello. Hi. You guys, <laughs> this is Mr. Vic Ramos, all the way from Brooklyn, New York. From Brooklyn. Yes. yes. We got a rep. We grew up in Bushwick together. And <laughs> we did. We're childhood friends. Oh my god. Okay, hi Vic, how are I'm you? good, and you? Amazing. Now listen you guys, Vic really slayed modeling in this campaign, and it was so dope. Um, okay, let's talk about set day. Mm -hmm. It was pouring rain. It was pouring rain. How did you feel about it? I was <laughs> living for it. In all honesty, I think that's the thing, because I love set design and stuff yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, the rain adds to this. It was perfect. Like, so when they see the rain in the picture around us, it's not Photoshop. It's not. It's not fake. It was actually pouring rain and we had a What was that thing above us? Like a piece of fabric? It was like a fabric and it was like, everything was like, Pouring just wet pouring around it, and we were just like, like <laughs> but so we're standing oh around God. the car, like really, really Huddles. faking it. We, yes, were, we were huddled, and it was yes. freezing. And before every take, we were like, but you know, it added to the <laughs> to the vibe. Yes, it really did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about the cremated palette. First of all, right now your makeup is so sick, Mr. Boomcat. Shout out to Boomcat. Shout out to Boomcat. He really slayed it down. Now we yeah. both do our own makeup, but we love sometimes when others do ours. Hello, I love it. You were modeling. You weren't doing makeup, so mm -hmm. it was so cool to see someone else. To, like transform you into something so different too because yes. I've never done anything oh like that. Oh my god, the like what would you call it? Like, the geometric you know lines. Like, Boom, what would you call them? It was giving you a little bit of like casket, linear. <laughs> I don't know. It was <laughs> so Boom was, thinks that he was giving us a little casket linear moment, and I agree. I agree. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. But today it looks unreal. Thank you. On the lids, I'm like, oh my god. Angel of Death and Paul Bear are really those girls. Okay, so the modeling pictures, they're so stunning. We took um, so many pictures together while the rain was pouring, and here's a few of our favorite shots. Um, of course, they're gonna be all over Instagram. Hi, click, 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 word. Well, I don't know, I don't know which one is my favorite. Just the, the one of you solo with the rose, like, ah! Oh. You know, I love the group shots. Yeah. I love the group shots. I feel like we look like a family. We do, it looks so cool. Like Adam's that. family is, is retired, and here we are. Who are they? <laughs> um, okay, well, thank you so much for being in the campaign. Thank you. Fucking killed it, and I'm so proud of this campaign. Same. Yes. All right, you guys. If you want to check out Vic, hello. All the social media will be linked down below. He's stunning. He does amazing makeup, and um, I adore you. Yeah. Thank Yay. You. Love you, baby. Love you too. <laughs> okay. So the cremated collection comes with four lip glosses, and of course, my iconic the gloss formula. And these shades are not for the faint of heart. They are kind of ethereal. They're a little weird, and I. Um, I just wanted to take it to the next level. Now my lip gloss formula has made waves. You guys are really loving it and thank you so much for all the honest and real feedback. So we've created some really fun colors. Now of course you guys see the packaging. It is very marbleized and the gloss is very prominent on the front. Now these retail for $18 and there of course is four shades. Let's get to swatching. All right, now the more pale icy of the four is called Heaven's Gate and oh my god, hello, the component has changed. The standard gold lip gloss now is in a white pearlescent component um, with the gray font and I love how this turned out. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So here's Heaven's Gate. I'm actually wearing it over Drug Lord Liquid Lip and Christmas Cookie Lip Liner. And this shade, oh my god. It is so icy. I'm gonna swatch them right here on my hands for you guys. This one is really icy. I'm talking like, winter is here. All right, now the second shade is called Coroner's Kiss. And it is a beautiful, weird metal gray with gold reflex sparkles in it. It is absolutely, really gorgeous. And let's give her a swatch. Now this by itself, oh my God, it's really good but also over a nude lipstick, a black lipstick. Oh my God, if you're daring, honey. These are just really weird tones of gray that look cool over really anyone's lip color. All right, the third shade is called Funeral Parlor, and it is this beautiful, more dark tone gray. It has silver glitter in there. It really packs a punch, and it looks, it looks stunning by itself. But on other lipsticks, oh my god, it's like a transformer. It's just really different, and I've never really seen gray lip glosses before, so I was like, honey, 
Let's turn it up and do something unique. All right, the fourth and final shade is called Six Feet Under, and it is a amazing onyx black metallic lip gloss with a little silver reflex in there. Oh my God. This by itself is very weird and it's definitely interesting and I love it, but this over my black liquid lipstick weirdo, bitch, you might have to have a seat. Now I'm gonna take my iconic black liquid lipstick called Weirdo and we're just gonna put this in my hand here. This has been out of stock for a while, you guys, but bitch, it's finally back. Um, this is also vegan and eye safe, so you can use my liquid lips as eyeliner and it is, whoo, it's amazing. Let me let this dry for a second. All right, now six feet under over weirdo is so stunning. Oh, it may be hard to see with the beauty lights, but this is what Vic was wearing earlier. Such a unreal combination. All right, you guys, so this was all four of the lip glosses for the Create Mated collection, and of course, um, everything in the description will have the prices and all the names. All right, you guys, there's a few more items in the collection. All right, so besides the glosses and the palette, I wanted to do a few accessories, of course. I didn't go full ham because we have a very full year, which you guys will see shortly, um, but, Hi, white marble makeup bag. I love this one, I think it turned out so perfect. These are good for just travel. I love just throwing this in my bag. Um, these retail for $25. All right, and the second bag is, of course, the iconic travel bag. This is in a new black marble. I love it. I use these, you guys, a lot. I know not just because they're mine, but when I travel, I'll bring like five of these just full of all different stuff. Um, it's so good for on the go. If you do your makeup in the car, on the airplane, on the train. Oh, wait, we're not allowed to leave the house. Never mind. But it's an amazing travel bag. All right, that bag was $30. And of course, I had to do a straw set. The cremated straws are really dope. If you've never used a metal straw before, bitch, give it a whirl, sweet pea. Um, but these, of course, are at $19.99. I have an array of colors on my site, but for this launch, I wanted to have fun. So there's a matte black, some grays, and a white one. And um, yeah, that is it, you guys. Like, this collection, um, oh, hi. And the black mirror is finally back in stock. I get asked about mirrors and so many things. So, hello, this is back. Um, but yes, that is the cremated collection. Oh my God. Um, this palette, I am so excited about. I am so ready for a new launch, and it's been really crazy times out there, um, and I'm just ready to play in makeup again. So you guys, let's recap and dive into the details. This collection, of course, will be launching on May 22nd, exclusively on jeffreestarcosmetics.com. Everything will be in the description if you want to know the prices, the names, and anything. Um, and everything will be launching at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 1 p.m. Eastern. If you don't know your time zone, do a quick Google Miss thing. Um, and yeah, you guys, that is it. I am ready and cremated. will be out very soon. And of course, it's going to be a very amazing journey for the rest of 2020 for this brand. So buckle up. And I will see you guys May 22nd. Yes! <laughs> Bye, guys.